What's up, my Fina loves? It's Miss Fina D coming to you all from Vina Team and News. Now, you know, it's been a lot of positive news and cuteness overload with Kenya Moore and her family back to back. And, you know, some of these blog pages that, you know, just want to put her down and post negative things about her just been sitting back angry. Like, man, can she mess up one time or do something that we can drag her about? Because lately, it's just been all good news for Kenya Moore. Well, <laughs> Kenya got her coins and decided to share something personal that I know those blogs are extremely happy right now to discuss. And I know it's going to be hot topic. But you know what? I'm looking at this from a marketing standpoint. And when I tell you marketing genius, because based on this story she just explained, she knows that every single blog page or TV shows that repost this story and talk about it, right, will have no choice but to mention the name of the company that she's promoting in return giving this company more free publicity in return probably leading this company to say you know what you did such a good job you know yes more coins <laughs> and we want you to be on board for a long time because to be honest with you this story she just explained she did not have to explain this story at all kenya could have simply promoted this company that i'm about to read about and posted her cute picture with brooklyn and call it a day all right so she went ahead and posted this durable picture with brooklyn but no, the picture is cute, but no one cares about the picture. They care about what she wrote. Kenya wrote, Last week when I was traveling with Brooklyn, I got kicked out of a restaurant for changing her diaper. OMG, I was so embarrassed. I had no idea about these rules. As a new mama, I'm learning new things every day. And she tagged the app. Has been an amazing support for me to connect with other new moms that can give me a heads up, advice, and a sense of community. The app introduces you to women in your neighborhood based on the things the things you have in common. Interests, mutual friends, age, gender of your children, and so much more. I use she tagged the app to ask how to find a good nanny, how old Brooklyn has to be to start eating food, you know, is this a rash or eczema, and where else can't I change her diaper, lol, go check it out and create a profile, the app is a must have for mamas and mamas to be, and she went ahead and hashtag the app, okay. Now, I'm also going to go ahead and include the actual video of Kenya explaining what happened. You guys are not going to believe this new mom story I have for you. I'm so embarrassed. So I'm traveling to New York last week with Brooklyn. I go in the restaurant to have a bite to eat before my flight, and she has a complete blowout. I put her down in the seat, I change her, and then a manager comes over to me later with a plastic bag and says, number one, you're not supposed to change diapers in a restaurant. Okay, who knew that? And number two, uh, here's the bag for the dirty diaper um, and you can take the fecal matter <laughs> basically out with you. I cannot tell you how embarrassed I was. So, I found this new app called Peanut where as a new mom, I can connect with other new moms who have a plethora of information that I don't have. Like, what am I supposed to do? When am I supposed to do it? And just general community for mamas. So check out Peanut. Swipe up. Well, yeah, there you go. Kenya, I'm going to read some of the comments. Okay, but she basically said... She was in the airport, okay? Now, depending on where she was in the airport, most of you are aware that depending on, you know, which side you're on, the bathrooms, some of them are not that close. You have to walk, you know, distance, get there, and all of that. Now, if you are a traveling mom, she's probably thinking, I have Brooklyn, I'm by myself, I have the diaper bag, then I have this, then I have that, and I have the third. And she probably didn't want to go through all of that. She looks around in the restaurant, it's empty, 
it's just her but she just felt like you know what no one is here it's just me at the table i can just turn my back lay brooklyn over here and quickly change her diaper and you know throw it away and no one is going to notice but it is still a restaurant they have codes and things like that and so you know basically you heard what she said in the video when I tell you this is the quickest, I have seen over a thousand people leave comments because you already know, like I said, it's just been, and what Kenya did, some moms in the comment are saying, listen, I've been in a situation before where I wasn't about to drag a car seat all the way across the hall and go to a bathroom and go through all of that. And you know what? I did the same thing, but child they couldn't wait to have something to attack her on so let's go ahead and read some of these comments Whew. well okay Cynthia Bailey she's focusing on the picture heart emoji Moyeta Shaw cuties Moyeta Shaw and Neo um, ex fiance okay on this is too cute all right Brooklyn is a doll this person ish happens I love it. Kenya is just laughing. This person, wow, that sounds like a great app, Kenya. Did this restaurant have family restrooms that are equipped with baby changing stations, rest areas, etc.? They should have offered to assist you with a private family restroom away from the customers. You deserve your privacy. They attend to your beautiful baby in a restaurant setting. Kenya responded, nope, not at the airport. Were you changing it on a dining table? Of course not. She wasn't. Wow, that's crazy. I didn't know restaurants could do that. Kenya, I'm praying to be a mom. So thank you for sharing. You give me and my sister hope. Kenya responded with a heart emoji. How could they kick you and your cutie out of a restaurant just to change her diaper? This other person, I will never patronize that restaurant ever again. What what were you supposed to do? Let her get a rash. All right. And thanks for the tip. I'm a new mommy again and had no idea. Beautiful little princess. Kenya responded, I checked with other moms on the app. It's a great forum for all things mommy. What do you mean got kicked out for changing your baby's diapers? Like at the dining table or in the bathroom? Kenya responded, banquet seat. Okay. All right. This one person, I'm a mom of two and I would never change a baby's diaper in a restaurant at the table. Honestly, out of respect for the other patrons, no one wants to smell or see a baby diaper change while they eat. It's not fair to those around me. For these reasons, they make changing tables in the bathroom that place where people get out their waste, common sense people. Kine responded, it was empty around me and no restrooms in the airport restaurant. Thanks for your input learning every day. Now, you know, when she, that person wrote common sense, Kine could have gone in. I love this. You know, she's mellow and all of that. She could have gone in, but she's just simply saying, listen, man, I looked around. It was empty no one was there and i was like you know what i'm not dragging my child all the way around this airport just to get to a restroom okay and i'm by myself mm -mm. i'm going to change her right here but you know the health code violation and all of that i totally understand all right it had to be for doing it at the table and come on people be real i am a mother of four and a grandma to one and i would not change my baby in the middle of a restaurant where others are eating saying that is just like breastfeeding is taking it too far most restaurants are equipped with changing tables in restrooms where that business should be handled this is a lie just promoting the new app like all the other celebrities at don't lie to people that like you. If you did get kicked out of the restaurant, gave us more info. How much more? She already told you what happened. Like, where did you change your baby? I see most people don't read. She already explained that. This person responded, LOL on the seat amongst other patrons. Nope, Kenya said it was empty where she was. I got, there you go, one mom. I got kicked out of a restaurant too for changing my first son. So she is not lying. I live in Indiana. Thank you so much. People always think like this woman could have simply said, hey guys, new app. If you're a new mom, go ahead and, you know, download this app. Case closed. She got her coins 
moving on with my day. She didn't have to talk about this embarrassing situation that she knows because she's kidding you more, people are gonna go in on her. Oh my God, that's disgusting. I understand you're a new mom, but it's common sense. She didn't have to share this story. She could have kept this story, and that's the reason why I rock with her. Cause she doesn't care. Like a few weeks ago, she posted this picture right here. We all know Kenya Moore is drop there gorgeous with or without makeup and she doesn't have to try hard. But in this moment, her beautiful hair was all over the place and she felt like sharing that moment with her fans. Listen, I'm not always dolled up. I'm not always made up. This is me as a mother in this moment right now. And she posted it and that picture went viral and people calling her every name in the book. But I love her honesty and being transparent. And you know what? Marketing genius, get your coins, Kenya, because everybody in the mama is gonna pick up the story. Oh my gosh, Kenya Moore, so gross. This down the third is gonna be everywhere. And people are gonna be calling her every name in the book. But guess what? She got her check okay she's not losing sleep over it as you can see from her responses she's not even upset learning every day her responses are so calm mellow and positive and she's laughing all the way to the bank <laughs> so i reposted a picture without the caption so did the real house of atlanta fan page and so let's go ahead and read some positive comments okay since it's just the whole, you know, I wanted, I really wanted the title of this video, you know, ish happens, but the S instead of the, yeah. And I was like, nah, YouTube gonna block my title. She got gray hair, a miracle baby and no mortgage. She's blessed. <laughs> no mortgage. She looks like Mark. She was bound to have beautiful kids. They both are so gorgeous. Look at Brooklyn. She's getting so big. Kenya is so gorgeous. How cute. You can tell Kenya loves being a mom. OMG, she is so adorable. You have never look, looked happier. No shade. I'm so happy for Kenya. You could have just wrote, I'm so happy for Kenya. <laughs> no shade. The cutest. Oh, Kenya, she's beautiful. You both look so happy. Pretty and healthy. Keep smiling. Baby Brooklyn looks just like her daddy i love seeing you so happy she totally completes you what a beautiful baby so precious kenya she's a doll so happy to see you being the best mom i knew you would be she's gorgeous i'm genuinely happy for her happiness god the joy is just oozing from this pic so happy for her Bro brooklyn is going to be so gorgeous too cute so adorable hopefully just too cute so cute how special absolutely to cute daddy's girl tummy time with princess brooklyn my daughter hate a tummy time omg she looks just like her daddy for now L omg so gorge okay she's cute she's beautiful two beauties um sweet 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 she is just perfection so beautiful congratulations you've waited a long time for this and are now so blessed you will be a great mom she looks just like her dad omg omg the baby is such a beautiful humor adorable omg she is still beautiful omg beautiful pig as you can see i can go on and on and on is nothing but heavy tea and beautiful messages on here so there you go nothing but positivity so Kenya is winning um, and hey ish happens all right <laughs> sorry Go ahead and just talk about Brooklyn. Look at her. She is so alert. She's so adorable. So photogenic. And the app, the page had 98,000 followers when Kenya posted. Now they're almost at 100K. And I'm sure it's going to go over. <laughs> so say what you want. My girl is a marketing genius, okay? She didn't have to explain that story. <laughs> she did. Yes, Kenya Moore. Get your coins, girl. Get your coins. <laughs> Most of you got to see Mark in Brooklyn. I'm doing the father and daughter dance because Kenya was playing the camera woman and producer behind the screen <laughs> of her phone. And you didn't get to see what Kenya was wearing. But this is what she was wearing. She wore a simple, nice, you know, dress. And she took pictures with the kids and all of that. She looked beautiful. So I just want to show you guys what she was wearing. 
Anyways, that's the latest on our girl. Go ahead and leave your comments below. Listen, I understand. Like I said, not the best thing to do. But I also understand it because I've tried at the airport before and I know how it is. So, mm. anyways, my final loves. Like I said, thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn notifications so when I do push it, where did I post it? And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.